All right, welcome to game number two. Hopefully we can win this one. Doesn't look like they have a goalie yet, so maybe we can get a couple empty netters. But uh, anyways, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys, well, on the ice. <laughs> What's up guys? All right, so quick announcement. Obviously, I'm not at my house. I've been gone for the last couple, well, I guess last week, filming an amazing event called Funnel Hacking Live. That's with ClickFunnels, the company that I work with. But besides the point, I did a really awesome interview before I left with Mary from MG Hockey, where she asked me a lot of cool questions about like my history with hockey, why did I get started, who inspired me, and also my YouTube channel, why did I start it, and a lot of amazing good questions. So if you wanna go check out that video and support her, go check it out, I put the link in the description and you can go watch. It's a good 24 minute interview and you'll learn a couple things about me that I've never shared on my channel before. So go check it out after this video. But with that being said, let's get back on the ice. So recently I got a new stick, which you could probably tell from last season. I had the CCM Premier, and uh, I like this blackout stick. It's really good, it's affordable. But one cool trick that I learned about from Sal, one of the goalies that I work with with Nick Dahan, is to actually do something at the shaft, whereas you can see here, I put like a little bit of tape there. It actually gives me a lot of good grip and keeps my hand exactly where I want it. And I'll give you guys more in-depth review to see if you guys should do it too. So in that goal there, two things. I don't think I was 100% square to the puck, but um, ultimately too, I should have shuffled a little bit more to stay with it. And uh, I think if I leaned with my leg, I probably would have got it with my toe of my, my foot. So just make sure you guys stay square, keep shuffling. Don't let them beat you easily like that. Back door. Oh. Yes. All right, so goals like that are a little bit more difficult to stop. I mean, I was going for the shot. The guy in front of me tipped it over to the other guy who was more open in front, and then he tipped it in bar down. Sometimes you just have no chance. Three on one. Let's go guys, two shots, two shots. Come on. Yeah. Go work, go work on D, that's it. <laughs> hey, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> hey, I'm good, I'm good. So on that goal there, I was just expecting the pass, so I had my foot against the post, but I had my legs open, ready to slide over for that pass, and then he just shot it right between my legs. So the lesson there is don't always be worried about the pass, just focus on facing the actual shooter. Stay squared to him, and if he does pass it, then react. Get square, push over, and then stop the puck. That should not have gone in. Alright guys, you're losing this camera for the rest of the game. Alright, 
All right, so unfortunately won't hear any more commentary, but uh, my camera's actually fine. It's just the mount broke, so this camera's very durable, if anyone's ever wondering. All right, not how I wish it would have ended. That terrible third goal, it would have been a 2-2 game because then we wouldn't have pulled up me and then we would have not been scored on an empty net. But that's hockey, what are you gonna do? We have another game right now and uh, my cameras probably won't last so I'm not gonna turn them on. And if you like that game, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.